everyone, I'm Mike Money Gamer here, and I'm back with more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time we were about to talk to this big Goron here, but we want to do it as um, Dormani because uh, there's a good reason for that. I'm the Goron who sells the powder, powder keg, the most famous product of other Gorons. Want a powder keg? Powder kegs explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. Until I've tested you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use any on your own. Will you give it a try? Okay. If you can destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance to the Goron racetrack near here, using the power keg I'm about to give you, then I'll prove you to carry them. When the powder keg begins ticking faster, it means that's about to explode. Try to blow up the boulder blocking the Goron racetrack entrance without the powder keg exploding on the way. There's a sign near the racetrack, so keep an eye out for it. When you're finished, come see me. So I move towards it. Pick it up, and you want to toss it up this ramp. Then roll up yourself. Grab it. Oh, no, no, come on, grab it. Throw it up. And you gotta just keep doing this. Don't worry, if you fail, it's not the end of the world. Anyway, now the best course of action is just to run your little legs off. Uh, I may have gone the wrong way, which, um, wasting time is frowned upon. And I don't think you can make up this ramp, can you? Yes, you can. Apparently. Anyway, you don't want to get hit, or, um, you know, blocked in any way, because you have just barely enough time to get it there. Don't worry, it's not the end of the world if you fail. You just have to pay him a hundred rubies each time. I kid you not, viewers, it's a hundred rubies each try. And don't listen to anybody else that might lie and say, oh, he's kidding, viewers, it's free. No, it's, it's a hundred rubies. I will not lie to you. <laughs> anyway, just place it right next to here. And I think if you talk to the kid, he's like, Break it, break it, I wanna go to the race, I wanna go to the race. Just stand right here. And you'll hear it start ticking faster. It's got a cool little face on it, too. Get down! Hooray, I don't have to pay 100 rubies. Way to go, Darmy, that was cool. Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start. Come on, hurry. Look at him run, oh my god. I thought Darmani ran weird. Anyway, <laughs> let's get in here. Ah, Darmy, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're going to enter, aren't you? Yep. You have to. I want to show everyone how Darmy races. If your magic power runs low, charge it up with green jars on the course. Now, if you thought the boss fight was hard, this is going to be impossible for you. <laughs> now, to start out, you want to go ahead and curl. You do want to start like that, because if you don't start like that, you kind of get put behind and it kind of sucks. Don't let people hit you either. If they hit you, they uh, slow you down. Also, if you have like uh, the uh, non-extended uh, uh, power bar, you kind of are screwed for this. And I always hit these trees, and so that's really bad. You don't want to hit the trees. There we go. Come 
if you want to hit those hills or if you don't want to hit them. Ah. No. No. Ah. I didn't get first. You're just a little stiff because winter was so long. You're not really like this. You know how good you really are, then into the races again. If you say nope, he's like, he cries and it's kind of funny. <laughs> and he automatically recovers your magic for you. Well, false start. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I did it so well the first time and now I can't do it. This ain't fair. Second day. Oh, that's right, it's only nine. Now, I have no secrets for you on this, viewers. Um, when I did it, I just had to try, try again. And that's all I can tell you, because really, it's pretty damn difficult. And that's what happens if you get hit. Ah, that's what happens if you hit the tree. We have no chance. Once you've hit the tree that many times, uh, yeah, you're not winning. I don't know what place I'm in. It doesn't tell you. Can't remember these ramps help or hinder your progress. One of them went backwards, that was weird. I think it's okay to go ahead and hit some of your opponents. Just don't hit them all the time because you will slow down, like I said. And also, um, you'll put yourself in danger. Ah. Oh, wait a minute, I must have done so bad last time, that's why they just stopped it. I think if you don't get within like the top places, you um, it ends the fight. Uh, you know, not the fight, the race. I think the funniest thing I ever saw was somebody like pounded at the front. Like you know, I think it was Chucker Conway actually. And it was just kind of funny. He's like, ah, I didn't mean to hit that. And so it, like completely threw him off. It was so funny. I was like, oh, that sucks. Stop hitting me, you little piece of shit! Ah! No! Ah, oh, that sucked. Now, there's no way to, like, give up on this, by the way, so... You just gotta keep racing until it ends. Running into the wall slows you down a lot. And since you really can't... Ah! Turn that well. Kinda doesn't help. Right. Ah! I don't know what happens if you follow their viewers. I can't actually answer that question. The sound effects though of this, it's kind of fun. Hearing them all go, Whoa! like that. <coughs> Ooh, I got like second place that time. That's good. Of course, if I screw up too many times, of course I'm gonna start cutting, of course. But, um, or cut it until I win. Now, of course, like I said, this isn't required, but you can get something really awesome if you do win this. So you have to win this. Some game strategies, I don't think it's really helping. You know, kind of like sticking towards the wall and that kind of stuff. Don't run into the bomb flowers, by the way. You will screw yourself out of winning for damn sure. Uh, stick to the outside here, I think. No? Means I got knocked off because of that guy. Yeah, I'm stuck on the edge, so I don't let go. Oh no, oh no, stop, stop. There you go. Aww. By the way, if you run out of magic power, there's no way to win this fight, uh, this race, because you will just be cut. 
kind of rolling, you know, at minimum speed. And yeah, you won't get anywhere from that. I don't even know what place I'm in right now. Second, it looks like. One more, like I said, and then I'm gonna cut. See, I'm up to like 10 minutes. Yeah, you can literally dedicate a whole 40 minutes to this. I kid you not. I don't know what time you have to beat. I know it can be kind of determined by time, too. I'm going to cut here, and when I get back, I will have hopefully won the race. Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here, and as you can tell, I haven't won yet, but we're going to keep doing them on screen because I got to tell you, I've had some really cool stuff happen off screen, like, um, I've had it where they win at 1 minute 11 seconds, and I'm like, what the hell? And so I thought I would like, you know, do some more on screen, just kind of see if that would happen, uh, if I get lucky since I have you guys watching, you know, that kind of stuff. So we're really going to be hopefully recording for 15 minutes is what I'm hoping for tops, because that would be 25 minutes in all. But um, the problem is, I did some experiments, and at each time that I've uh, raced, it's those trees right there that have screwed me, it's getting hit that has screwed me. Um, these ramps, I don't think you're supposed to hit them. Because every time I've hit them so far, oh no. That's happening. If you fall down here, uh, just kind of stand and watch for a little bit. Um, you're supposed to get a dialogue box that says, um, Darby, there's no way you're going to win. Do you want to keep going? But for some reason, they didn't give it to me. And I, I was saying about the experiments. I did some experiments. There is no uh, rubber band effect for this. They don't slow down once they're all ahead of you. Um, the second they finish, they cross the finish line. That's supposed to be where it marks the point where you stop. But for some reason, it hasn't stopped the timer yet. Nor has it. Oh yeah, it has. Okay. So that race was what I needed to be 1 minute 28 according to what it said. But it was supposed to have stopped me when I fell. Because if you get knocked off, it says, oh, um, there's no way you're going to win. Do you want to keep racing? And you can say no. But for some reason, the cat let me keep racing. And just to point out something, I'm not even holding on to control stick right now. You do continue rolling forward at the speed that you will roll forward at. So you don't have to constantly hold forward, but what happens is if you get hit too many times, you do because you're going to be slowed down. So it's better if you do hold forward just because this happens, you know? Another thing I've noticed, if you do get hit around these hills, um, really don't expect to win because what's going to happen is you're going to uh, run up into this wall here, you know? That's going to slow you down tremendously. Uh, I've been trying all 
sorts of different things, like I said, I've been trying to um, actually um, what's the word, like hug the wall, I've tried running into them, you know, to kind of knock them away from me, I've tried not going over these hills, I've tried going over the hills, you know, I've tried everything, they're the way this game seems to be right now, it seems to be broken in my opinion because this race you're supposed to be able to just barely win. And I'm not even coming close, you know? It's like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm doing everything the way you're supposed to do it because I'm following the same uh, things that other Let's Players have done. And they've won on their, like, third try, so I don't know what I'm doing. Well, at least one of them did the other one. It took him, I think, seven tries. But me, it's taken me like probably like 15 so far. I wouldn't be surprised because you know I haven't been keeping track uh, because I don't like to do that. It just pisses me off. Um, the thing is, it seems for the most part that I've been doing uh, worse and then getting better, and then worse, then getting better. The thing is, I'm never getting good enough to actually get better than second place. I mean, like, the worst place I ever got was, uh, fifth. The, uh, best I got was second. And so, yeah, I don't know if there's some kind of secret to this or something. Because I'm honestly not having any luck with this at all. useful item if you win <coughs> and that's why I'm trying to do it and as you can tell I'm still congested I'm always congested when I record though what's new at least the course never changes you know uh, I should start making uh, quotes from uh, what's that game called um, Yeah, I can't remember my uh, game I did a show off of that one time. That was really funny. Oh, yeah, like, we're jamming now, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> People know what I'm talking about. Yeah, anyway, that's not going to help me at all, so I'm not going to do that. I used to think that you have to run up this wall, but if you do, watch what happens. You actually get knocked off the wall, and you just keep kind of skirting the wall, and you can't get off of it. Slows you down a lot. This ramp, you don't want to hit it. You know, it is kind of cool because see, you go flying off. Yeah, see. <coughs> I know, I just sounded like I punched myself in the chest. I kind of did. Just to stop myself from fucking coughing because I want to do this and talk to you guys. We're still doing pretty good on time. Actually, we're doing terrible on time. In game, we're doing pretty decent, but it's too bad like the ground isn't ice at the start. Because um, if you could like start out get it into um, spice, that'd probably make this a little bit easier. But I don't know. For fun, I tried different things. I also tried to uh, do a pound at the start before starting. That doesn't help you at all, trust me. <laughs> it actually throws off when you're supposed to start the race. I'm gonna go get me a cough drop after this because I'm fucking tired of my throat being congested like this and making me cough. I have congestion as support, but I don't take it because it doesn't really work. So, yeah. Like the last time I took it, all it did was make me cough a little bit, and my throat filled up with so much mucus. I was just like, okay, this didn't work at all. I can't breathe. And I can't 
talk either, so I don't know. I swear some manufacturers make medicine that just doesn't work. I'm not going to tell you the brand because that's not important. But yeah, anyway, um, I just got to slow down again. What did team was this race's number this time? Um... Sorry, you little bastard, but I'm not going to um, do this right now until I take care of something because I might have to uh, reset time. I don't want to have to redo um, that test again. It's usually how you're supposed to do this. Get out of my way. You're supposed to uh, win the race. And, um. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, as I was saying, you're supposed to win the race and then um, go back and talk to the powder keg guy and say, hey, I made, I, uh, you know, passed the test, but, um, yeah, you don't have to do that. That was actually kind of fun, I must admit. <laughs> I broke a sign. <laughs> anyway, let's get up here. Looks like you managed to succeed. Knowing your skills, I feel fine letting you handle power characters on your own. It was bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test. I want you to take this as my apology. And you got another powder keg. Um, powder kicks are very volatile, so you can carry only one at a time. If you shoot them with an arrow, they explode as soon as they hit, so be careful. Actually, I don't really think I need that for anything. At least not for anything that I can think of. But once you've been, um, what's the word, um, certified, you can, um, get one whenever you want from, um, Clock Town, if you have to reset to the day, the first day. And, um, there's really no reason why we shouldn't do that, because we could start the, uh, next, um, temple if I didn't want to have to do this right now. But since I want to try it, Oh, uh, no, we're still good. We're still good. Alright, are they, uh, not tensed up? Magic fool. God, I don't want this to all be races, though. It just kind of sucks. Oh, I need to get just again. Damn it. I need a haircut, but I haven't. I've been kind of lazy and not done it. Yeah. I don't know if this is different on day one or two or whatever. <coughs> like, I don't know if it's actually easier on day one or if it's easier on the final day. You know. Don't ask, I have no idea. What I do know, however, is that, um... If you do this on um, the first day, it's kind of neat because you uh, have daylight and all that, and it is possible to do it, uh, in case you're wondering. Past, there we go. Yeah, that'll help. Oh, no, no, no! Stop hitting me, damn it! And he's on our way up there. Damn, 110? <laughs> no way. See what I'm telling you, viewers? It's insane. It's like, if you're right up next to him, they get done, like, at 110. If you're, um... 
way back in last place, it's like, um, it's like, forget about it, you know, you're, you're gonna get the race, the, the, the uh, final race time's gonna be like 128, because of the, uh, uh, I guess it does have a rubber band effect. fucking disgusting. I'm like, ugh! And I have to, like, trim it off, you know? Just to get it to stop. Now, if you hit every single one of these ramps, uh, you have no chance of winning. I think you're supposed to hit that second one there. I'm gonna look up a guide after this to see what the hell I'm doing wrong if I fail at the end, after the end of this episode. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I'm pretty much gonna have to get the prize if we get it at all, and then uh, go to the first day, which means it's kind of pointless to get the prize. 118. Oh, we're out of time anyway. If you're listening, you can actually hear the original um, Goron Town music up in the background. Nope, not right now. Anyway, guys, in the next episode, um, I'm going to try and figure out what I'm doing wrong, see if I can't, like, find a guide or something, maybe even a walkthrough online, and uh, I'll tell you how it works. Till then, bye.